And they take this campaign national in 1872, and they be begin to convince Republicans, as well as Democrats, that their real enemy is not the white Southerners who are keeping African Americans down with the KKK and with things like that. That's, that's all a rumor. The real problem is this giant government that is sucking tax dollars and squishing the individual. And thanks to that, we get the nationalization of the image of the cowboy. This individual, this Southerner out there in that great West who doesn't want anything, he just wants to work hard and not have everything taken by the government. And this is why Jesse James is so important. Jesse James was a Quantrill Raider. Jesse James is from Missouri. Jesse James is, in fact, in terrible trouble. His first major robbery was in 1869. Let me just be clear, by the way. Jesse James is a robber, which means not just burglary. He takes after people with guns. He is a robber, and he's a murderer. This is not challenged. The guy is a criminal, OK? He's not some Robin Hood. He is a criminal. His first major robbery is in 1869. When that happens, and they can't manage to get him, the Missouri governor, who's not B. Gratz Brown yet, um, it's a guy named Crittenden, if anyone cares. He sets a reward for Jesse James's capture. The government just set a price on an individual man's head. When that happens, an ex-Confederate named John Newman Edwards, who actually is the editor of a major newspaper, the Kansas City Times, begins to say, wait a minute, wait a minute. James isn't a criminal. James is, as somebody will call him shortly, an angel of light. James is an individual being persecuted by this behemoth government who not only is going to take his tax dollars, he's going to take his life. And James starts writing to the newspapers. And he starts writing to the Kansas City Times, a lot of which is ghostwritten by Edwards. But then it also gets picked up in Tennessee and then also by the New York Times, in which he says, I'm not a criminal. I'm a nice guy. And I turn myself in, but I can't because no Confederates can be a lawyer. No Confederates can be a minister. No Confederates can vote. No Confederates can be judges. I can't get a fair trial. I'm being persecuted by this behemoth government here in Missouri. 